is like this moment. Hi everyone, welcome. Episode 90. Before this was 89 and 88 and 87. All the way back to zero. Episode zero. There actually was no episode zero. There was only episode one. When you're entering, please share where you're from. Often I start with a opening meditation. Welcome Katrina, happy day. Thank you for being here. Alabama, wonderful. Thank you so much for your divine presence. So oftentimes I start with the meditation, but we're going to skip that today and just be in the meditation right now. Just imagine the state that you're in after the meditation when you're just like so wide open and vast and it's like you're looking at everything for the first time. There's an innocence consciousness and everything feels so fresh and alive and radiant and vibrant and yet still and there's this profound depth of presence as if as if this moment is the only miracle there is as if this moment is the only divine, profound, magic potion that exists in the world, as if this moment is poetry, as if this moment is the most beautiful music you've ever heard, as if this moment is mind-blowing love in the afternoon, which is fast, infinite, engulfing you, like this love that's engulfing you Everywhere you move, everywhere you look, everything you think about, everything you feel, everything you talk about, everything you experience, everyone you encounter, every word you hear, it's like it's swimming, like you're swimming in love, like you're bathing in love. Like love is all there is. Like love is the is the foundation. Love is what unifies the earth and the sky, the trees and the soil. The masculine and the feminine, the night and day, the yin and the yang. Love is the essence of all that is. Love transcends and includes all there is. Love transcends and includes the full range of feeling, the full and complete range of feeling, of emotion, of thought, of imagination, of experience itself. I love seeing all these people that I love joining us. Mona and Brandon Lynn and Jackie and Jaina. ND, what's ND? There's a couple NDs that I know. What's ND, Jaina? Michelle. So there's this love that includes is the foundation, is the ground of being for whatever arises in this moment, right now. Whatever arises in this moment right now. Welcome, Ginger. Welcome, 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 everybody, welcome. Thank you for being here in this wow, of this most holy now, which is always and forever the case now. 
So we're looking for freedom in content. We're looking for love in the content. We're looking for, for love in the experience. We're looking for freedom in the experience. We're looking for a spiritual experience. I had a spiritual experience. I want a spiritual experience. I had a spiritual experience, but I lost a spiritual experience. But how do I find the spiritual experience? How do I get a spiritual experience? I hope I can have a spiritual experience. I want to have a spiritual experience. I might have a spiritual experience, but I might not have a spiritual experience. So where's the freedom in that? Where's the freedom in hoping you have a spiritual experience? Maybe you'll have a spiritual experience. Maybe you won't have a spiritual experience. You once had a spiritual experience. You just find these spiritual teachers and they'll say, um, you know, these, they have these biographies and it's like, it's very, it's kind of the same script once you get attuned to it. So they say, um, in 1996, I had my awakening. And since then, I have blah, blah, blah. So if you had your awakening experience in 1996, then what good are you now? This is 2017. So... What we want is something, someone, some kind of consciousness that's awake, that's fully alive, that's fully here right now, that's open, wide open, vastly, incredibly, without borders, without boundaries, without limitation, open to the moment, now, right now, not 1996, now, in this moment, right here and right now, it's like this vast space of miraculousness of magic that is not dependent upon the content that's the key it's not dependent upon the content that's why it's mind-blowing right so it's not in the content of your mind it's not in the content of thought it's not in the content of ideas it's not in the content of conceptualization it's not in the concept the concept sept sept kept it's not in the space of dogma it's not in the space of ideology it's not in anything that arises or falls it's the ground of being the ground of awareness from which everything arises and falls back into it's the ground of being from which everything arises and falls back into you know what that means you know what that means everybody this is the good news it means we are it and it is us you want the mind-blowing love? You are the mind-blowing love. That's the great liberation. That's the that's the what's sometimes called the spiritual liberation. This great emancipation is realizing that you are the mind-blowing love. The mind-blowing love is you, and you are the mind-blowing love. You can never lose it, which also means you can never gain it, which means you're not going to find it in another human being. I promise you. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for these stories, this twin flame, this, all this stuff is nonsense. It's only inside yourself. It's only inside yourself. You are it. It is you. You will never, ever find it in anyone else. I promise you, I guarantee you, another human being will never, ever, ever make you happy. Another human being will never, ever make you happy. However, when you recognize and realize this mind-blowing love as the essence of who you are, now, and only now, it is possible to have a profoundly beautiful, truly intimate, relating, that is the essence of the mind-blowing love, of the love of, that's amazing. Amazing means beyond conceptualization, beyond ideas, beyond any sense of limitation. So when you recognize and realize the essence of what love truly is and that you are truly love, then it is possible to have another that amplifies that love that's inside you. But if you don't recognize or realize it in yourself, you're not going to find it anywhere outside of yourself. So we're recognizing and realizing, we're opening to the infinite essence of who and what. 
we truly are. And the mind is blown. The heart is... And it's like, wow, everything that I've been looking for, everything that I've been wanting, everything that I've been wanting to experience, I am that. I am that. Not as the story of me. I always go like this, or I often go like this, because it's like a, it's like a, a contraction. It's like we are this vast, infinite awareness but we contract to attach and identify to a story. So then we attach and identify to a story. And everything that happens from that point is trouble. Okay? Including looking for your twin flame, your soulmate, your whatever, your whatever the next term is. There's no way to experience love in any kind of genuine way when you're attached and identified to the story of who and what you think you are, which we call ego. So the ego wants something. The ego feels a sense of lack. The ego wants to take something from someone else. So you have two egos that want to try to take something from someone, each other. This is the story of me that I'm attached to identify with. This is the story of you that I'm attached to identify with, or sorry, that you're attached to identify with. With the story that I'm attached to identify with, I feel like you would identify the image of you as, would I project the image of you as will enhance the story, will better the story of what I'm attached and identified with. And maybe you feel that the image you're projecting upon me will enhance and improve the story of yourself that you are attached and identified with. Oh my God, now we found each other. Now we're in love. You're going to enhance my story. I'm going to enhance your story. But it's actually not going to happen. See, that's the problem. Is it's actually, you're actually not going to enhance my story. I'm not going to enhance your story. So ultimately, it's beautiful because every relating is a source point of awakening to who and what we truly are. Right? So every relating is a space to learn, to grow, to evolve, to expand to the essence of who and what we truly are. Karen, it's fake news. That's what it is. It's fake news. You know? So, what's exciting is this opening to recognize the essence of who you are as the space, the vast space without attachment or identification to a story. Doesn't mean you're not aware a story, but you recognize the story as a story. And to, with present moment awareness, perceive, relate with another without attaching or identifying a story to them. So now, you can feel it experientially we're delving into a space of what we could call presence. We're present together. We're here. We are present means we're listening to each other. We're seeing each other. What do we want the most? What do we... Happy birthday, Phyllis. Tell everyone how old you are today. If you would like. What we want the most is to feel seen and to feel heard. That's what we long for the most. To truly feel seen and truly feel heard. And to truly feel seen and truly feel heard happens when we're in a space of being present together without attachment or identification to the story or how I'm going to use you or try to manipulate you or try to control you to improve the story of me. And this is the essence 
of mind-blowing love. In the morning and afternoon and in the evening. And if you lose awareness, get wrapped up in the ego, get attached to identification, get attached to a story. Relating is a great way to bring self-awareness, to bring a greater sense of self-awareness, to learn to grow and evolve into the essence, to fall into the essence of what we truly are. So sometimes people say, why are we here? Right? Why are we here? Wherever here. I'm not really sure where here is, but wherever here is, why are we here? Meaning, I suppose, why are we incarnated? Right? And you can answer that different ways, but one way you can answer it is, I want you to be 80 years old today. How about that? Is that okay? 80 years old? One way you can, you can articulate why we're here is we're here to learn how to love. We're here to learn how to love. So don't be too hard on yourself. You know, we're here to learn how to love. If you slip up here, little misstep here, didn't do it quite right there, said the wrong thing there, it's okay, you know, forgiveness, 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 forgiveness. And the most important person to forgive is yourself. The most important person to forgive is yourself. Forgiveness creates the openness to love. Forgiveness creates the openness to love. Forgiveness relieves the, the burden, the weight of the past and allows us to be present in this moment anew, alive, fresh, radiant, here and now. Does anyone have any questions or comments? There's a, an option that we've been using in the Secret Glow, our private subscription community, where, and there's an option here too, where, where I can talk to people live. There's live viewers and we can talk live. So just keep that in mind that that possibility exists where we can actually have live interaction. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah, I don't, um, when people don't have any questions, when their minds are quiet. Oh, did it? A racetrack? That's cool. When, uh, I think the, the birds are here more, they're more audible around twilight. They like to come out and sing more a little bit later in the day. Oh, listen, it's like a racetrack. Listen. Face palm. <laughs> so, check out the links below to plug in deeper. We all walk in beauty, Hilda. Thank you. It is yourself that's amplified in another, for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna keep saying that because it really needs to be said, especially with all the Facebook um, projection that goes on, but the images people wanna project that are, um, 
that can create confusion and distortion within and can create a sense of looking for something outside of oneself. You know, whatever we create in this universe, we create from the awakened consciousness that is the essence of who and what we are. From the power of our hearts, present moment awareness, and the poetry and the music and the harmony and the universal creative rhythmic intelligence that moves through us in each moment when we're clear open channels here and available to life. See you in the next now.